On August 25th, the towns of Berzor, Sus, and Aravno will be handed by Armenia to Azerbaijan. On that day, Russian peacekeepers will pack up and leave and Azerbaijani forces will enter the territory. As for Berzor's Church of the Holy Resurrection, images have appeared on Azerbaijani social media showing the church converted into a mosque. But what about the residents of these places? Where will they go? Is the Armenian state doing anything to help them? And why is Azerbaijan's president, Ilham Aliyev, talking about peace and cohabitation when lands handed to him are made devoid of Armenians beforehand? We don't have a home now or a place to stay. Where will we go? We don't know. No one comes here to ask us, where will you go? How can we help you? I am 90 years old. Where do I go? Where? I am asking a question. Where should I go? Should I go become a Turk subject and bend the knee to them? If they are going to evacuate us from here, they should take us somewhere that's in a good condition, so that we know we have a roof over our heads, we have a place to live, so that we do not end up homeless. What will we do? We do not have a home or place to stay already. What will happen to us? Let them give us weapons so we can fight back. That's the final option. They come and say we'll support you, provide housing. When are they going to buy them? They should have already prepared new homes and only after that tell us to evacuate. It's been two years since the 2020 war ended and I never thought of leaving here. I have many children. I have seen three wars. I am the mother of a martyred soldier. But today, what has Armenia's leadership provided us with? Nothing. In Aravno, Karabakh's infrastructure minister, Haik Khanumyan, visited the village. He told villagers that if they burn or destroy their homes before leaving, they will not receive financial assistance. When Armenia made large land handovers to end the 2020 war, scenes from the Kelbaja region caught the world's attention. Villagers were burning their homes before leaving. The Armenians from Kelbajar themselves were mostly former residents of Getashen, an Armenian region of Karabakh which fell to Azerbaijan in the 90s and made devoid of Armenians. Azerbaijani officials complained, but the villagers did so to avoid a repeat of these scenes. In the villages of the Hadrut region, which was taken after a battle by Azerbaijan and made devoid of Armenians, Azerbaijani soldiers ransacked empty Armenian homes, causing outrage amongst their original residents. Many of the villagers in Aravno don't want to see the same happen here. In a Civilnet interview, Khanumyan explained why the authorities don't want residents to raise their homes. Uh, after the war, a year and a half ago, following the ceasefire, in the Kashatak region, we lost villages south of Berdzor, Hunanovan, Mehvadzor, Melikashen, Maratuk, etc. And two years later, today, those villages will be in the vicinity of the new alternative route between Armenia and Karabakh, and out of the control of Azerbaijan. But these villages were razed, so when you destroy the village, you destroy any chance of return. Despite reassurances from authorities, just as in Berzor, the Armenians in Aravno are worried about the future. If we had armed protectors, we would never abandon our village, never. But what can we do when our village has already been sold? Let the Azerbaijanis come and slaughter us? To have their way with our children? Massacre them? We are scared. We are humans. You cannot break the doors or windows. You have to leave the key and leave. We complained a lot and said that we would burn our house. I had decided to do so. I thought that was a better option. If I can't have it, they shouldn't have it. But they said you won't receive financial aid. We cried so much yesterday that we became numb. Cruel, very cruel. What did we do to deserve this? There is no place to stay, no roof over our heads. We aren't allowed to take one stone from here. Should we renovate the house, clean the windows, furnish it so the Azerbaijanis are satisfied? 